Hi everyone and welcome to our third part of uh, CPP tutorials for Matrix and uh, as you remember uh, in the last two tutorials we learned how to create a simple uh, class that can uh, represent an integer matrix uh, the matrix with the data type of integer and it uh, can uh, allocate a memory for the matrix uh, for the number of rows and columns then uh, we can uh, populate the uh, element of the matrix with uh, some numbers from a uh, one-dimensional array we can print it, we can transpose it and we can uh, add it with another matrix so we, have, we are left with uh, three more uh, functions subtraction, multiplication and division and uh, you might say we don't have division for matrices and that that's right but uh, the closest thing that comes to mind when you talk about divi dividing two matrices is just multiplying uh, multiplying a left hand side matrix with the inverse of the right hand side matrix anyway let's go and uh, implement the uh, subtraction function and uh, it's going to be exactly the same as the addition but with one minor difference that we have to uh, subtract the values okay and uh, we also need to check again if the size of the matrices uh, are uh, same otherwise we cannot do this uh, function so let's try it out let's go to our main function and let's for sake of simplicity create two uh, similar matrices and both of them should be of the same size 2 by 3 and let's replace this add function from last tutorial with sub and we should get a 2 by 3 matrix which our elements are 0 and exactly we got it now let's back to the code and implement the uh, multiplication okay and I have prepared for you one uh, simple excel file to tell you or remind you of how the matrix multiplication works so the general rule is that uh, the number of columns from the left hand side matrix for example here uh, we have a 2 by 3 matrix this number of columns which is 3 should be equal to the number of rows of the right hand side matrix so here we have a 3 by 2 matrix and the number of uh, rows is 3 so that satisfies the uh, the rule okay and now let's see uh, what the resulting matrix will look like so we have another uh, reminder here a product of a n times m matrix by a m times p matrix is al uh, always n times p so for example we have 2 by 3 here and 3 by 2 here and the resulting matrix will be 2 by um, 2 oh, 2x2 two okay and these are the placeholders for the result so let's see how the first uh, uh, element at uh, row uh, 0 and uh, column 0 uh, resolves to so we simply say uh, one uh, this one times this one plus two times three plus three times five so it gives us 22 and for uh, the uh, element at uh, row zero and uh, column one we would have uh, one times two will be two two times four will be eight eight plus from two from before is uh, ten three times six is eighteen eighteen plus ten will be twenty eight and we do the same thing for the other rows and columns so for this one we say uh, four times one will be four 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4 from before 19 and 6 times 5 30 30 plus uh, 19 49 okay and uh, the last one will be 4 times 2 plus 5 times 4 it will be 28 6 by 6 36 and it will be 64 and while you are here I will give you a bonus uh, of how to uh, do this using uh, Excel. So you just simply use the M mult formula. You select the first matrix, you press comma, and you sele uh, select the second argument, which will be another matrix, and you press enter. And notice it will generate only one cell, but if you uh, expand this cell, press F2 and Ctrl Shift Enter, uh, the Excel will do the magic for you. 
Anyway, let's go back to our work, uh, to our code. So, so uh, we have to uh, perform a check. So if the number of rows, if you remember from the Excel, uh, number of columns should be equal to the number of rows of this one. So if this dot columns doesn't equal the uh, columns of uh, uh, rows of the right hand side matrix then cannot cannot multiplicate these matrices matrix matrices okay and uh, in my case I just simply exit the program but uh, you can have your own uh, error handling in your program for example you can return and continue with your program but uh, anyway it's up to you so uh, because the resulting matrix will be different size from the current matrix that we are in so we have to uh, uh, allocate a space for it so I would call this result equals uh, you remember we had this generate matrix function uh, this does rows and m that get num columns. Okay, so it will be in case of a, a two by three times three by two, it will be two by two. Okay, number of the rows and number of the columns of the right hand side. And we have to uh, this. Uh, rows we have to um, make all the elements of the result matrix before we do anything to uh, set them to zero um, so we need uh, two uh, inner for loops j is smaller than uh, m that get down columns then we simply say result at i and j equals zero Okay, now now we go over the rows of our uh, current matrix. Uh, columns of our uh, current matrix, and we need to perform three uh, three additions. This that uh, calls. And we just simply say result at i and j equals um, this dot mat i and k times m dot get value at k and j. So and after that. Uh, because we uh, need to uh, update our current class, uh, the uh, matrix, to this result, we need to get rid of the uh, old mat variable pointer uh, from the memory, so we can free up the memory. So I would say for int i, so this does rows. It's just same as uh, the destructor that we had, without deleting the. Uh, uh, this was our destructor, but we don't delete the math pointer itself. We simply uh, make it to uh, point to the result uh, matrix. Delete uh, this browse i. Okay. And we say the math pointer should now point to the result. And because the resulting uh, matrix is have a different column number of columns it will be two by two so we just set get number of columns from the other matrix uh, this that, sorry this does math okay and let's go back to our main function so we have a two by three matrix here exactly as our uh, excel file and this one should be also three by two so let's make this 3 by 2 and let's run the code and see what happens. Hopefully nothing blows up. Ok, 
Okay, matrices should be of the same size. And they are, oh no, they are, okay, this 2 by 3 and 3 by 2. Oh, <laughs> I have to uh, update this to uh, perform multiplication. So let's go back again. And let's run the code again. And we have a problem. And let's figure it out why. So we go over the rows, then we go over the columns, and this here we need to perform, uh, we have to always uh, increment what we have with another uh, multiplication result. So let's try it again, and it works fine. Okay. This is for this tutorial, but uh, next time we will uh, work on uh, division or just simply multiplicate, multiplicating one matrix by inverse of another matrix. Uh, it will be a bit uh, complicated because we have to uh, find the inverse of a matrix and uh, uh, we will do it anyway. So I hope you learned something and I uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial very soon.